sound great. It, it, it feels fantastic. Hey everyone, I'm, I'm talking to Steve off camera. Say hi Steve. I am holding the Epiphone Crestwood. This was a surprise to me because I'm here at Sweetwater's Gear Fest and these are not released yet. I have to wait a month to publish this video and I can't wait because I think this might be the most I've been excited for an Epiphone since the SL. Remember the SL? That was like six, seven years ago, something like that. It's been a while. It's not, it's not a $99 guitar. It's not a $99 Epiphone, I'll say that. It's, a, it's $999, they added an extra nine. <laughs> but it is, it's super cool. It is checking all the boxes for me. Just visually, that little playing I did just now, is the first I've played it. So this is very first impressions. I, I've seen it. I saw it yesterday. I picked it up. I was looking at the details and I'm, I'm stoked. I mean, look at the color. Look at the color on this thing. Hopefully the iPhone camera picks it up and does it justice. It's this like almost creamsicle light orange. Like not the color of what creamsicle tells you it is on the packaging, but the actual color of the popsicle itself that kind of light, creamy orange. It's got mini buckers. I've, I've been loving mini buckers lately. And Steve, Steve has a spec sheet here. They're Gibson mini buckers, right? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to get that close. We're sharing a mic because I'm using the other yeah, they call lab this, down uh, here. They call this color California Coral. Califor California Coral. It's a, it's a Walking Dead color. <laughs> California Coral. Tell me about the pickups. Steve has a spec sheet. Yeah, they're US made uh, Gibson mini humbuckers. They're US Gibson humbuckers. So they they kind of went all in on this. I mean, at a thousand bucks, you kind of have to. I kind of have phone, to, but you have to justify the price. It's CTS pots, it's switchcraft jacks. It's all in. Uh, the fit and finish feels really nice. This is a prototype. And I did point out in the booth like, hey, Something happened with the pit guard, and they're like, yeah, it's a prototype, so this one didn't line up. I'm assuming something went wild with the routing, and it just didn't line up. The, the production models aren't going to have that. I actually asked the guy, can I have the prototypes? If you guys don't want the prototypes, I'd love to have them this print. So it's probably not going to happen, but I'd love it if Epiphone gave me the misprinted prototypes. But that's the only issue that I spotted on this thing. Let's go, let's go tip to tail on it. Bat wing headstock. I love a bat wing headstock. That's my favorite Epiphone headstock. Got vintage style tuners on there. I like that. It, the, the whole back of the neck is painted that beautiful creamsicle orange. The California. California coral. California coral. California coral. California coral. I love these like Dr. Mario pill shaped inlays on there. That's a fun shape. That's such a fun detail. We've got binding around the neck, kind of a cream binding on the sides, and then it's bright white on the front. It meets the body with an almost like SG style hyper accessibility thing going on there. The last fret is still outside the body. There's a lot of fret accessibility there. 
white pit guard. I love these knobs. They remind me of the knobs that I stole off an old Yamaha amp that I have. And I keep them in a drawer and I put them on strats and stuff when I get them. But I love this old style knob, kind of similar to what they're using on the Maestro pedals right now too. The mini buckers, which we mentioned with pickup rings around them. I love thin, small bodies on guitars. I have a thing for it. You know, I had a Duosonic as my second electric guitar ever in my life. And I just, anytime I pick up a small bodied, thin bodied guitar, I have an instant attraction to it because of that. And then let's talk about the trim. They've had this trim on previous uh, guitars similar to this model. It's my first chance getting to mess with one. It feels like a Bigsby. That's what you're getting into here. It has the cool kind of like wood tailpiece thing going on here, but functionally, it's a Bigsby style spring and action here. It has that nice smooth feel to it. I love that they went with like a throwback Epiphone style trim instead of just going with an off the shelf kind of component. They did the thing. All right, what else can I say about this? What specs did I miss, Steve? I mean, you want to know about the neck shape? What's the neck it's, shape? It's a 60s slim taper D. 60s slim taper D. So Indian Laurel fretboard. It's actually, it doesn't hit me like Indian Laurel. It looks really good. I thought it was rosewood. Yeah, usually Laurel has that kind of waxy feel and this, it has more of a rosewood sort yeah. of texture where you can feel the grain. Uh, I never would have guessed that. Wilkinson tuner. So they're going with like a, ni a little nicer tuner uh -huh. and a Graftec nut. So again, Graf -tech like. Nut? I think this is about, I feel like this is about as tricked out as you can go for, for a thousand bucks. I mean, a thousand bucks, like. Oh, and it comes with a hard shell case. And it comes with a hard shell hard case. Shell case. Holy heck. Hard shell case. I'm gonna go stand over here again. That's pretty cool. I, <laughs> people are gonna be like a thousand dollars for an Epiphone. Like there's all sorts of import brands that are beyond a thousand dollars now. Like think about Reverend. Reverend Guitar sells like twelve, thirteen hundred dollar guitars yeah. that are all Korean imports. All of them are Korean imports. I think this thing does it. I, the frets feel really nice. This is a prototypey model, so you know, I, hopefully, the quality control holds up with the production model. I mean, the prototype has the pickguard issue that I pointed out is not lined up on the pickup ring or lined up with the neck correctly. Like I said, I think the route was just a little bit off. But that doesn't bug me. Like I said, like I want it. I want them to send me the uh, the production uh, misprint. You know. Hey Ryan. Yeah. You thought about like playing the guitar? <laughs> I thought Instead about of just it. Talking. All right. I'll I'll play the guitar. I'm using my uh, my mobile rig that I teased a month ago. I've got you know my DJI uh, lab here, and I've got the other one here that is running direct into my Fender Mustang Micro, providing my guitar amp and effect tones. And it's all just recording direct to my phone right now. Uh, you can buy these DJI kits from Sweetwater, by the way. That's where I got mine. I feel like it's a good idea for me to say that since I'm here at Sweetwater, they're hosting us for GearFest <laughs> and they're paying for our hotel and travel. So thank you, Sweetwater. <laughs> That's the bridge, here is the middle. I like mini buckers because they're this really nice bounce of like kind of bright, adjacent to twangy, clear tonality, but with the benefits of a humbucker, you still get a little bit of a mid presence, but it's not the big woofy mid presence of a full size humbucker. <laughs> That trend, that wiggle stick feels nice. Instantly, I just, it feels dialed in. I might, if I had one of these, which I really wouldn't mind, I might put in a longer Bigsby spring in this because that's what I typically do on all Bigsby style trims. Here is the neck pickup.
And I know it's, you know, I'm going through the Fender Mustang Micro. It's, you know, it is what it is. I think it sounds great for the product that it is. Uh, I've got a lot of stereo reverb on here, so it's not a completely clean signal. But I've played a lot of guitars through this thing, and so I feel like I have a good beat of what things sound like through it. Let's try some dirty tones, and then I want to show off like the companion bass guitar that they've got here too. So here's kind of like a light crunchy sort of sound. We're on the neck pickup. <laughs> I just knocked you out of tune today. <laughs> Did you? No, you didn't. Oh, this is a good test then. It's really tuning stable so far. Oh, nice. So what is this? It's like a big speed feel. Okay. All right, here is the bridge pickup. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Instant connection, like instant bond. Like, am I gonna buy a thousand dollar Epiphone? Gibson typically doesn't do, you know, YouTuber marketing. They don't. They don't send stuff out to us guys. They come to things like this, but they don't send stuff out to demo. I might be able to get Sweetwater to provide it, but probably not. I don't know. I kind of really having a great time with this right now. I'm gonna sell my Les Paul. To fund buying an Epiphone. <laughs> Steve is rolling his eyes so hard right now. This is me. Instant Bond, it feels great. It looks fantastic. I love all the visual details. I love the, 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 the physical dimensions of it. I love the thin, small body. The neck fills my hand really nicely. I don't always love painted necks, but it feels nice and smooth to me. I like the sound of the pickups through the uh, the Mustang Micro here. The trim feels great. Nice and tuning stable. Big speed action, but plenty of room to get wiggly with it. 
It's a winner. I'm stoked on it. Someone talked me into getting one. I'm talking myself into it. I don't need a lot of help, but yeah, I'm stoked. I can't wait till these come out so I can release this video. All right, should I grab the bass or should I make that its own video so we can publish it earlier? To make it its own video. Steve says I should make the bass its own video. But look at this. Like we gotta, we gotta start a band again, Steve, to have a matching pair. The bass is half the price. Probably because it doesn't have a wiggle stick. <laughs> We'll, Steve will pull up the spec sheet for it. These are $4.99? $4.49. $4.49. $450. We're going into the video for the bass? Or you gonna... the, I, I'll, do, I'll do a standalone bit video for the bass. I've already published this because it's already out. I'm going to have a tough time not teasing this. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave us rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. I was checking to make sure the mic was still, out, still there. <laughs> Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt. If you're naked, follow the hashtag uh, 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 GearFest2023 and stay grounded. Bye, everybody.